It was asked, what was that officer supposed to do when he got into the classroom? And I'm just like, well, at least talk to her. Treat her like she's a human being. See if she's okay. See if there, you can get to the bottom of why she's doing what she's doing. Even if you're going down some checklist of things you ask anyone, at least show that you've had some de-escalation training of some sort. You know, make it look like you give a shit about her as a human being. But no, nope, it's treat her like cattle and you must obey. You know, it's shitty. But it goes along with how so many public schools have adopted these zero-tolerance policies for a lot of things, where someone gets punished the same way for doing a something that's harmless as someone who does something really awful. You know, it's stupid. And, and, and kids getting suspended for making a drawing of a gun on a piece of paper, or, oh no, peppermint oil, or... Just, and then there's a bunch of other stupid shit like participation awards for everyone and, well, that's, that's another subject altogether, but you combine the zero tolerance policy crap with police who don't seem to know de-escalation methods and you have a shitty situation. So, de-escalation methods. That's something that police need to be taught more. I understand there, there are police out there who really, really try. They, they've got decent social skills and they, they know what they're doing in that regard and, and they're able to defuse a situation. And there's, there's a lot of good cops out there, but the ones who aren't, the ones who suck, uh, make the other ones look bad. And we need to be able to find ways of weeding those people out. We shouldn't allow, we, sh we shouldn't allow unions, police unions, to keep horrible cops in their positions, you know? As I've said before, it's kind of like how the Catholic Church uh, just moves around uh, uh, pedophile priests, you know? Just kind of look at it the same way. But the worst things that cops do is to treat people like cattle. And there's unfortunately a lot of footage of police treating people like cattle. It's definitely not all police. It may even be only a small percentage of police. But there's enough encounters of them that people have had with them. There's enough footage of, of these sorts of encounters where they're treating people like cattle. And it's just about obey, obey, obey. You know, it's no wonder why I compared it to Slavery. Slaves were treated like cattle. When people are treated like cattle, it, they're going to have that kind of reaction. And, uh... Yeah, that, that we need to find ways of weeding that shit out of the police forces. Um, we also need to uh, make sure that police get better training. Training in, in uh, de-escalation methods. They also need to have a reasonable amount of social skills. I don't know, there's just a lot of things that need to improve. Do we need order? Yeah. But, not, it's, it makes me think of a Star Trek episode. I think it was Next Generation. I, I can't remember which characters they were. So, maybe it was even a Deep Space, no, it couldn't have been a Deep Space Nine. I don't know which, which, which one it was. It was a newer one, though wasn't the uh, Captain Kirk Star Trek. And they were on some planet where they didn't realize this until later that all rules, if you break any rule, the penalty is death. So one of the characters went uh, over, uh, they walked on the grass that there was a sign that says keep off the grass and uh, yeah, they they were set to be terminated, and I guess that goes back to the zero tolerance policy thing, though, but when people who are being peaceful get treated as if 
they're being very violent, uh, there's a problem. When I see the footage of police manhandling peaceful protesters, that pisses me off. You know, it doesn't piss me off seeing them do that to the to the rioters and the looters. Doesn't piss me off nearly as much. But when I see it happening to to peaceful protesters, when I see, you know, seventy five year old men being just shoved to the ground when they weren't any sort of threat at all, yeah, that kind of pisses me off. Um, as I said, treating people like cattle really sucks. Let me be clear, I understand that there are some situations where police need to be able to treat people like cattle. I get it. Okay, there, there are some situations that call for it, especially the violent criminals. I guess I don't know what more to say. Thanks for watching.